this uh, program uh, because we're going to take you live to the Nehru Memorial Museum in the national capital where President Pranab Mukherjee is delivering the Arjun Singh Memorial Lecture. Arjun Singh was former union minister and this is a memorial lecture. Uh, here's the president. You, the number of universities in India are more than 730 and number of the degree giving colleges are 35,000. These institutions have all started functioning, overcoming the initial odds. Unfortunately, with the physical expansion of these universities and higher institutions of higher learning, the quality of education in most of our institutions is below the international standard. If we delve into past, we would find renowned seats of learning. Nalanda, Takshashila, Vikramshila, Varavi, Shompura and Radhanthpuri had dominated the scenario of world higher education for more than 1800 years from 6th century BC to the 12th century AD with the collapse of Nalanda. Scholars from around the globe flocked to these poles of knowledge. A different scenario is noticeable today. If you look at, <clears throat> look at the list of the recent Nobel laureates, I would like to mention four of them. Professor Hargavinda Khurana, Subramaniam Chandrasekhar, Dr. Amartya Sen, and Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan, all of them did their graduations or post-graduations in the Indian universities. But our university system could not retain them, and they became Nobel laureate working in the institutions abroad. As a consequence to that, since 1930s, no Indian university have ever won Nobel Prize till today. Therefore, a serious scrutiny is necessary to counter this avoidable trend. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, none of our universities earlier found a place amongst the top 200 positions in world university ranking. I have been repeating like a parrot in all my interactions with the institutions of higher learning that the ranking process must be accorded due responsible importance. Indeed, IITs and a few other central institutions have the quality to come up to the ranking positions if they take little care of proacting to the approach for ranking system. I'm happy to note that good results have started coming. Indian institutions, not one but two, have found place in the first time amongst the top 200 universities in the world in ranking by a reputed agency. Two other Indian institutions have been ranked within the top 20 small universities in the world by another international agency. I hope this trend will continue and sooner than later, Indian universities will attract the mighty minds like magnet from all over the world. To enable Indian institutions higher learnings to emerge as world-class institutions, a national institution ranking framework has been launched. It ranks institutions on parameters covering teaching, learning, resources, research and professional practices, graduation outcomes, outreach, and inclusivity and perception. Indian universities indeed have the potential 
to be leading institutions in the world if we take care of it and try to allow as much as possible the academic freedom. For that, urgent improvements in the academic management are needed. Our institutions must pursue excellence in every sphere of academic activity, be it teaching, evaluation, research, or project work. To make learning more effective, teaching <coughs> pedagogy must be refined, curricula updated regularly, and interdisciplinary approach adopted and education mechanism reformed. Physical infrastructure must be improved to pursue excellence. Core competencies must be identified and centers of excellence nurtured. To create quality consciousness, every institution must be benchmarked and accredited. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a healthy interface with the industry can become higher educational institutions in terms of involvement of industry personnel in curriculum design and project guidance, sponsorship of chairs, and setting up of incubation centers. Well, that was the uh, President of India, Mr. Pranab Mukherjee, delivering the late Arjun Singh Memorial Lecture organized by the Sadbhavna Foundation in association with the Madhya Pradesh Foundation. Uh, late Arjun Singh was the HRD Minister of India in UPA1 government. And uh, the President was speaking largely about universities and how India has not been able to uh, achieve the very highest standards in universities currently. Uh, he was lamenting the fact that we that India has not been able to find any Nobel laureates from the soil. Uh, all Indians who have become Nobel laureates have actually gone out to other universities abroad and been given Nobel laureates. Uh, he was speaking about how uh, the universities could actually improve by having linkages with industry when we cut away from there.